Good morning, everybody. Let's see. I don't have the normal uh, tripod that I used when I did milking, so this might be interesting. But we're gonna go ahead and try it anyway. So see if anybody is up this morning. It's been a while since I've done a morning milking uh, live stream. So I've already cleaned her off, uh, and I just use a soapy water um, spray bottle like this with dish soap in it. And then I use some rags and I clean her off. And you see me using a plastic bucket this morning. So I'm not keeping milk for people. So, yeah. But if you're there, go ahead and pop a comment on there. Let me know you're there. I will try to catch them. Uh, this is going to be a quick live stream. I just figured I'd see how uh, if anyone's interested in doing it. Hoping to get back into the, uh, the swing of things, doing more regular morning live streams. So we'll see what happens. Prudence is our full size or standard sized um, Jersey milking cow. Currently, we're getting about a gallon. She first freshened after her last calf, which is a stillborn calf. I was getting almost five gallons a day. Um, since that time, I went from twice a day milking to once a day milking, and then I uh, reduced her uh, her, uh, her production down to about where it is now. Even with my herd share, I don't have a demand for much more than a gallon and a half a day, so. It feels really early to me this morning. I think probably with the time change, I know it's as dark as it is out. But it feels like earlier than 6 o'clock. milk and just give to the pigs, which is what's going to happen this morning. I just use this plastic five gallon bucket. Uh, when I milk for human consumption, I use a stainless steel bucket uh, with a lid. I'm going to put the lid on right after I'm done, try to keep anything out of it. And then I'll take it inside and I'll filter it. Uh, when we do raw milk, so we don't pasteurize uh, or homogenize. So. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments. 
either live stream or after the fact. I'd be happy to answer them for you. I am not an expert by any stretch, but I've been milking her for about two years now. So happy to uh, share what little knowledge I have. Okay, so that's how fast she's done with this front udder. You can tell there's just a little bit left. So that udder is done. This is the one that has the most milk. So I'm gonna keep milking this udder with this hand and I'm gonna go to the back udders with my right hand. Pretty much I have to keep milking on this front. I call it the front passenger side, the far side over here. The entire time with this hand and I can milk through the other three udders with my right hand in the same amount of time. Now the back udders, I don't know if you can tell the difference in, I kind of strip down like this because they're not quite as big so I can't get my hand around it to squeeze so much. So I just very gently strip down. Whereas in the front here, you pinch off on the top and then squeeze down. Okay, now that back driver side udder is empty, working on the far side here. Far side is a little bit wet still, so which makes it a little bit difficult to milk, so I'm going to dry that off quick. Let's see if we can get it any better. working on the far side over here. I'll kind of alternate back and forth to my right and left hand. Um, she's not going to have a gallon and a half this morning because I milked a little bit later yesterday. Um, so I'm going to milk a little bit earlier today because we've got stuff we've got to get to. And then I'll probably milk a little bit later again tomorrow. So hopefully She'll have over a gallon and a half tomorrow. But yep, she's starting to get empty on this side as well. And this near side is filled up a little bit since it emptied, so I'll just milk a little bit out of there as well. That guys is done. She's milked out. Like I said, she didn't have nearly as much. The pigs will be really happy with that. Um, I'm gonna finish chores, but I just figured I'd uh, come and see if anyone was interested in milking. Uh, I appreciate you guys.